Terry, we were just hanging out because we can't get enough of each other. And I was thinking, oh my God, let's do a collective meditation. So you, cause you got some good information for us that you wanted to share some news about the dragons. So let's have it. Okay. Let's have it. Let's have it. I had a, a conversation with the dragon lady and we will do this a little bit later. But what she said is that as the dragons are awakening, they are about to hand over uh, the guardianship. I'm using the word lightly as guardianship of the earth to the white lion beings from Lyra. And these white lion beings are kind of, they also have characteristics of the dragon as well. Um, and I remember talking, asking her, oh, because I've been in China and a lot of the Chinese mm -hmm. uh, places have these lion beings as guardians. And those are the ones that will be that that's a, that's a look that they have and there's kind of a they're kind of a transition between a lion and they have certain aspects of the dragon in them but these are the beings who are going to be taking care of the earth in the new age to come so jonathan did you just show a card because i don't think you were on camera um i was shuffling a card and oh just talking about the dragons and the, the the transfer to the lion lions, and basically what the card was saying it was uh, well it's, it's a galactic crystal healing card, um, and it was the Ooh. DNA crystal encoders the twelve D heart of universes. Ooh. So what the dragons and and the lion the lions from Lara dragons. They're, they were they flow through the oxytonal lines and are of those of those uh, magnetic uh, and electric um, uh, light sources. Um, so it's it's just very interesting that this was coming up as well. Oh, so this, oh. this is this is a uh, a Chinese lion. Oh, right, and you will you will see in China you will see these i have another one they are the guards and usually like if you go to the forbidden city you will see them guarding the temples there that's so. not fighting the forbidden city okay mm -hmm. yes so anything forbidden is like yeah we want to go to that place <laughs> <laughs> forbidden and hidden forbidden and hidden but you had because it was forbidden because only the quote royalty could go there. That's why it was forbidden because the common folk weren't allowed there because it was just for the emperor. Oh, right. So. What were you saying, uh, Erica? Oh, I think Terry. I thought Terry had like a whole nother card too. Oh, she had. Yes. A I do. I do have a card, and it's called the what Path of the doing? Soul. <laughs> Oh, it was a it was a, a lion with a oh no Jonathan had that lion card. That's the card I was looking for. <laughs> Where is that card, Jonathan? Pull it out so she can see that because that's the one you showed us. That's begun the whole journey. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the card I thought you were gonna show me. Yes. Yes. And drum of the guardian. Yes. The guardians the of our guardians. So it's just guardians so of our galaxy. So the line is the is going to be the guardian. Yes. And we obviously know that Andromeda and are connected to Lyra as well, right? So yeah. yeah. So what it's funny that the cat when in Egypt, right? The cat. Oh my the gosh! At the temple. So they are the ones. They are the guardians of those temples. I, and I just heard of something called the cat distribution. Um, the cat distribution. <laughs> I don't know what it is. How do you say it? But there's a reason when cats come into your life, it's always for a reason and for a season. Yeah. It's the cat distribution system. The greatest spiritual healers mm -hmm. are cats. Yeah. Oh, My cat just... 
oh my god when i got back this is archer he was one day i i, I did a med, um meditation i did my oils and i was doing the throat and uh i was doing the throat and the heart that day he came and he just i woke up with this big heavy cat on my chest and my i was like oh my god are you trying to help me with <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did put my head to his head before I went to bed, and I was like, okay, we got to work on the throat and the heart. <laughs> and then I woke up, and he was like, oh, 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 heavy on my chest. It was so crazy. Oh, my God. I had to go the actor. Like, yeah. Oh, I love him. <laughs> he's mad. I put him in the bathtub yesterday, so he's mad at me. So. Yeah, they, 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 um, yeah, they, they, collect that energy that you're you're releasing and then they ground it yeah and lick it and flick it off the fern lick it, lick it. and then he went and sat on his egyptian carpet rolls <laughs> his eyes at me right now <laughs> like, oh, what is she talking about yeah. she's like stop telling everything mm -hmm. so we're doing this uh, so this is a collective reading we're gonna do mm -hmm. i just want to say about this this uh temple of guardian yes um that i was drawing was drawing these cards for the past couple days and that he he kept on coming back out every and i'll be shuffling shuffling and it would just fly out wow so yeah okay. wow <laughs> check the timeline we got some amazing pictures that's at the Isis temple, and one of them always stands up on this top piece of alabaster. You can tell it's alabaster he's on, and he's there, like, this is my show, and she has to be, like, one of the most famous cats, because I see everybody has pictures of this gray cat in the, um, uh, at the Philae complex, and uh, she's regal. She's amazing. Yeah, throw it up. Check the timeline. You'll see, see it. Put her up on the Screen, uh, oh, you want me to go look for the baby? Okay. Okay. I love that cat. So, so elegant. Powerful. Yeah. Mm. What's going on over there? Mighty. <laughs> <laughs> and serene. All right, let's see, hit the share screen so everybody can see. She is amazing. Mm. Wow, she is. She Guardian. is beautiful. Yeah. Look at those eyes. Yeah. So you don't want none. You don't want this. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, that's my segment. I don't even put, like, don't look at my segment too hard. <laughs> don't look at her. <laughs> so who's going to do this reading? Who's pulling the cards? Are we both, are you both doing it? Well, okay. The, the, the cards that I have is called uh, Path of the Soul and their destiny cards. They're intuitive fractal art. Ooh. And they are done by Cheryl Lee Harnish. And so they're beautiful pictures of yeah, fractals yeah. and they've got lovely messages. Mm. So uh, I think that if Jonathan and I are going to do one together, Jonathan can pull, should pull first. And so I think that this one, the this last one, the Path of the Soul, is maybe something to sort of end it with or after see what the message comes you 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 go first <laughs> i'm gonna observe i'm gonna observe the the deck which deck's gonna pop out here oh okay all right so okay so the path is <laughs> all the destiny cards so we're going to pull a card to see um collectively what is lying in front of us for the next let's say six months okay this is our what, what's going to happen 
in our destiny, whether it's collectively or individually. So we'll see what that's going to say. And I'm going to select this card. And the card that I get is number 18. If you look at the fractal, it's um, yeah. a spiral. Yeah. Fibonacci. Oh. Nice. Isn't the ammonite shell like that? Is that what you call it, the ammonite? The ammonite shell is like that as well. So number 18 in the deck is about renewal. Yeah. So spirals represent healing energy. This card is calling for repair and healing within your relationships especially family. You are being asked to look for the good in all those who closely surround you. It is time to create new dynamics within your relationships. And this card will provide you with the healing power to do this. See the gift you have been given in your relationship with others. Look for God within everyone. Send your gratitude to all who are close to you. Not only will you experience a renewal within all your relationships, but within your heart as well. Wow. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. So, on that note, I ended up pulling one from the same galactic deck for just the collective of coming up. And then I just pulled one while Terry was doing the reading for the six months with the chakra cards. And what it says is that the chakra was the solar plexus is that for the collective, I deserve all the love, respect, joy, and prosperity that comes to me. So as this. I love that. I deserve all the love, respect, and joy that comes to me. Mm -hmm. And then for the galactic aspect of it, um, it was the crystalline encoders, the 44 dimension. Um, and basically that's going to be able to, that's those higher energies, dimensions, densities that are coming in. And it was, they, they say, and they reside, we live in the universal field. We are the universal field. We are beings without form and are part of the unity consciousness. We are group consciousness. We are not individuals. We interface with you, though the portal of all quartz crystals. We are, we are inlaid in, within the matrix of all planets that have any form of quartz. We are the overarching spirit of quartz, yet we are much more Words in your language are combining, but we shall try to explain to you who we are. We are a, uh, we are a uh, you of a distant future. We are who you are heading to be and who you are already are. We are pure potential. We are sparks of intensely concentrated spiritual electricity. We are the form of light in all things we reside within living symbols and we transmit codes within relay systems we are the divinity behind the spiritual technology of the higher realms such as higher powered computer systems and starships we are unifying force a transmission of information and there's four options from to choose from Anybody have a number you feel? One, two, three, or four? Four. Four. Yeah. Ask the universe for the answers for your specific questions, then look for signs all around you. We shall assist by forming a path within the universal field that shall go directly to your frontal lobe for processing incoming thoughts. I mean. Yeah. Stand out. Just said the frontal lobe. We just did a meditation for the third eye. Number two, your uh, Terry's card and your card all led me to the law of one. It was just magnifying the explanation of how we are all one. And then the symbols, the Fibonacci symbol and your symbol. So yeah. those were three things that stood out to me. Yeah. It's amazing how we're 
miles away and yet and you pull a card and it brings the information so back much on, uh, so much detail like yeah the Fibonacci, the diamond the spiral and the yes yeah. Right. yeah and so you see inside. right there's the spiral oh she's got a spiral over here on the side mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah it's about yeah well, so sad, you know so it's about renewal over the next next few months it's about renewal and our relationships and and um being open and it's deserving within the heart and it's within the heart right yeah and open and deserving of all the love and the joy and the respect and the prosperity and joy like and this takes me back because i told terry at my eye exam today my eyesight has actually improved mm -hmm. yeah so if we, we can improve our our sight absolutely love it i love it yeah i love it that's the message we're gonna call her wolverine she's gonna be <laughs> aging backwards that's the way we do it we can take black don't crack to a whole oh. another level, whole another level. <laughs> holy cow <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> Now you're gonna make me go make another bad joke. Yep. <laughs> even, when, even when it's a statue. Oh. <laughs> and you'll see that on the other video because you're gonna see another video about the statue. So yeah. Yeah, you wanna go see that one. Yeah. That black didn't crack. <laughs> <laughs> And we're going to end that. Bye. Bye. Bye.